And you know, I know it's been a it's been a great season, but it's one of those stretches right now where it almost feels like you're playing uphill. Bounces just aren't going your way. What's it like to play right now in this locker room? It's definitely tough and a little frustrated. And at the same time, I feel like we're playing a little too cute in front of their net. A lot of east-west passes, and I feel like we just gotta champ champ pucks home and get greasier. Came out with a great start. You had the crowd into the game. You had the Rangers on their heels. They had played last night. You had the lead. The game seemed to change, though, when New York scored a goal. Did you feel that way on the bench? Yeah, I feel like the way it's been going lately, I feel like we let ourselves down pretty quickly, and uh, we have to make sure that we realize we're, we're a great team, and we have been either with seed one or seed two the, the whole season, so we have to make sure we realize that and believe that we're good enough to, to be there and stay there, and I think right now, I think we're just a little shaky and don't believe in ourselves. Sometimes the best thing for you after a tough night like tonight is to get right back on the horse tomorrow. It's going to be a tough environment. It always is up in Winnipeg. What excites you about that matchup? I think the good thing is that uh, we know we had some success against them. And uh, like I said, I mean, we have to put that one behind us and look forward to the next game. And I know if we, if we outwork the Winnipeg, we're going to win it tomorrow. So they're going to be your kind of game. Big physical, lots of energy, lots of entertainment. Uh, we'll look for great things for number 22 tomorrow. That's the goal. Thank you very much. Nino Niederreiter, guys. A point tonight. He now has 49 on the season. The Wild will look to get back in the win column tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock when puck drops up in Winnipeg at the MTS Center.